Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or maybe welcome back for me too because I am come back now and I will try to give you my first content after six months. It has been, it has been a long time anyway. So I would like to discuss with you guys about PVP mechanic changes from 2023 until now. Uh, I think this one is pretty much interesting to discuss about because maybe some of us does not care at all about what these changes or maybe just uh, slightly understand without fully understanding what, what are the changes or maybe some of us are like me who are being vacuum or maybe quit temporarily quit and want to come back and want to catch up about what's happened from then until now and for this content i would like to give you uh, an advanced summary that for right now playing full support is the best way since it will be give you no headache to update with all of the contents that is happening right now so without further ado let's go for the general pvp mechanic adjustment so since 2023 december there are so many significant adjustments the first one is the invisible 40 percent of auto attack skill reduction and also an auto attack reduction and skill reduction pvp adjustment it doesn't mean that when you have 100 percent auto attack increase you will be decreased into 60% but this one is maybe as approximation it will be like the final 40% reduction for example when you have 200% auto attack increase the this adjustment this invisible adjustment means that you will be cut 40% of through 200 200 so it will be around 80 percent of auto attack skill reduction of course this one uh, will be a loss for the dps but i think this one is quite fair because most of the update is updates such like the attack percent and m, m, m attack percent depot and also the new box card that is using a lot of bcc they are empowering all, almost all of the dps and the supports are at disadvantages so that is why this means that even though the dps are getting stronger their their stronger effect is getting cut by all of this mechanic adjustment and that that's not all because aside of 40 percent auto attack and skill reduction we also have the damage reduction in all pvp and gvg maps around 20 percent this also like almost the final reduction so after this 40 percent auto attacks and skill reduction we have 20 percent more of reduction and the latest one is the one that is quiet overwhelming for the dps because there is an arena specific physical defense percent and magic defense percent that can no longer exceed 100 percent has been removed it means that instead of needing 230 percent ignore defense and magic defense we need 330 percent ignore defense or magic defense for optimal damage output in pvp this one is relatively or maybe significantly difficult for middle to lower pvp PV player or spender because you know this additional from even for for casual player or semi-competitive player achieving 230 percent of defense is already hard for them to achieve this and now they need to have 100 percent more 
to achieve what is what they got before and as for example we need this dark siren m53 card for the physical dps because the last line which is giving the dps additional ignore defense of 50 percent it means that from before that they need 30 330 percent it is already achieved by half from 50 percent ignore defense from 230 percent and the others may be just adjustment from the shadow equipment percentage so since we have the rosa and also the rosa offhand and also the moral four from the armor and white white duke and the grandma so i think just from the shadow equipment 50 percent and also the dark siren we already can achieve the 33 30 330 percent ignore defense but this card is absolutely pay to win cards uh, not i think there is only a few people who are lucky enough to get three siren card to make them into mvp card because if it is not the mvp card uh i mean for the usual siren card it doesn't give us the 50 percent ignore defense that is why i can get to conclusion that if we see that all of these changes that are mostly for the dps they have to maintain the the up and they have to update their account to have to be spending more and more to make it updated such like having the new bcc cards having new depots and also right now is our the are the arcan runes it will spend a lot of money and that is why i will give you some uh advice that we will just play playing supports and we will have less headache that is why right now i will come back and right now my account is not a dps one but rather a support one that is why i said i will come back but i'm i come back weaker okay as for other than the pvp mechanic adjustment i think it is also important for talking about the adjustment in the magic prison especially for you guys who are 646 pvp enthusiasts so okay for the first one is the will to survive this one have some additional adjustment that before they are only it is only skill reduction and now it is both skill and auto attack reduction for 12 percent i think that is but i think no one no support will pick this because the new skill the element barrier is much more greater than than this so if we read the explanation it means that we will get reduction 60 percent of wind earth water fire and holy damage i i mean we have 24 percent of reduction of this and when and we have some something like a window so it means that every eight seconds we are immune to these elements for three seconds it means that the jobs that are using burst damage and have a longer cooldown will be much more disadvantaged because the dps will not know where the window of five seconds of of out of x seconds will be open such as uh, df water azura that is why even though there are some wind damage dps such like thor the thor is still good because its damage is uh continuous per second so even though there is the three second immunity thor damage will hit the 
DPA, the, the tanker on the supports in 5 seconds. Okay, the next one is the combat provision. So if if you remember or maybe the one that is playing in the past and then quits before this adjustment, this combat provision change from the cooldown reduction and skill delay to something that is more useless. <laughs> So you see here, I think this one is much more a gambling skill and even as a gambling skill, the percentage is quite small. So I will just leave it alone. The impact of this is that uh, like bring a holder meta gun, but I think after the fifth, uh, sorry, 50 percent, we can use this like bringer if it, if it is not as strong as before. Okay, the next one is the steel body. This one just move from the second floor to the third floor and there is no more SPD again. So it is much more useless because having uh, HP regen is quite easy just as our saying or maybe another job that can heal much better. But for the SP, most of the supports are struggle when they have no SP, so this skill is getting worse. And anyway, because uh, and as you can see, the battle instinct it used to be in the third floor, but now it moved into the second floor then it means that the DPS will lose the additional uh, damage increase or magic penetration since the DPS have to choose the king of chaos because right now there are abundance of CC especially in the freeze build that king of chaos is much more important rather than the additional damage increase or magic penetration. That is why at this aspect, the DPS gets weaker and the supports get stronger. And then we have a new skill, but I don't know that this will be good because it is on the second floor and people either bought DPS and the supports will choose the King of Chaos because of the CC meta right now. Okay, for the next adjustment, the defensive counterattack, I think the first and second line is are the same, but there is adjustment from the HP regen into reflect 10%. Uh, if you are thinking about this, the 10% reflect may be good or maybe not so for example a dps in pvp settings will have around 3 million under 4 million hp and to make to take them down when they are full hp by just using the reflect it means that you will need around 40 million damage taken which is impossible right now right so this one is maybe not useful if you are expecting to take down the dp the enemy dps but by by your effort alone by just reflecting but if it is just it is cumulative effect from the others maybe it can be important but anyway uh, ball holder will not choose these skills because there is because the new skill is much more better so here is the new skill. It is called ball vanguard. So when holding the ball, the maximum of speed will increase to 32%. It means that uh, the ball holder will have cap of 100% move speed. And because of this, the cap will be redu reduced from 100% to 132%, which is quite good when the ball holder trying to run away from the DPS that are chasing them. And there is also an uh, additional effect that when the 
holder or maybe the own chess pieces are moving, they will take 28% damage less damage. So it is also we have more damage reduction and also we also have uh, bonus HP of 30% which is very good compared to the defensive counter attack. So people are right now especially for the ball holder will pick this one. For Berserker, I think just pretty much the same for the details of the skill. It just have shorter cooldown, so it can be used more frequently rather than before. And the last one is the is the nightmare of all the supports because even though the supports are getting buffed, such like from the PvP mechanics that I have explained before, and also that uh the damage increase and magic pers magic penetration increase from the floor third floor that move into second floor and it is not being chosen by the dps because they have to choose the king of chaos but they have this harvester so this one will turn all the damage we deal into hp loss so this one is very powerful even this one uh, made the meta of frat holder gun and melt very fast i think not only rat but also the others because this red damage bypassing the blocking mechanism just like the rat block and also divine avenger uh, auto guard and even it bypass the the thing that can trigger the anti-fatal of wrath that is why wrath holder right now was was gone and no one use it anymore and that is why uh hela as the hero job that is that was abandoned before right now they are rising because of this harvester skill okay i think that's all uh i think i will give you spoiler about my account in the other video so we will know that f from right now from the starting point that the videos that i will make in the future will be much more uh middle and lower player friendly because i did i in the new account i don't have the siren MV mvp card I don't have the combustible knife. I don't have HP block relic. I don't have a uh, lot of veins. So my my new account specification is not suitable for being DPS. So I will have more contents into supports supports mode or maybe a killer that is not using ignore defense. So we can achieve it. Uh, so we can uh, I think it is, it is more affordable for us who are not a uh, high spender okay I think that's all thank you for watching and see you guys